the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex it's another Rex Whistler Rex from Whistler. Magnificent Bastard Sam and Mike Kavanak. Sam and Mike Kavanak, you magnificent bastard. Again. <laughs> Bodega cask. What well, is this Bodega? is Whistler. Bodega. But it's all still a single malt. Yes. Bodega, as yeah. in sherry cask, sherry butts. Oh. Bodega. Like a sherry means bodega. Sherry. Yeah. I just know bodega is like the name of those kiosk like, things in, in New York. York. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is a sherry butt aged. How does sherry feel about that? Well. You'll have to ask it. It? That's a horrible way to talk about women, Daniel. I'm not talking about women. <laughs> You're not taking me down that path. Right? <laughs> There's no upside to that storyline. All right. So, remember that a sherry butt is almost, or can be more than, double the size of an American bourbon barrel. Well, I mean, you don't, she's sassy. It's fine. What? So you can fit a lot more whiskey into it and your lowers your whiskey to wood ratio. <laughs> uh, such a child. Uh, such a child. <laughs> and people are like, oh, how come Rex doesn't teach a class on whiskey? Why well, come Rex doesn't teach? Uh, Rex know. would never make it 10 minutes through the descriptions of the process yes. yeah. with a straight face. You know what that's called? That's called the students giving me a standing ovation. No. Not even fit. Not even at the end. You're in the wrong room. <laughs> That's called 10 minutes in. All the students who paid to be there are going to be like, mother f <laughs> We paid for this. You did. Because it's the wrong crowd. You They're on the whiskey. They take whiskey seriously. In the comments, how many of y'all would show up to a class that I taught? Okay. Here's, here's the real question. I will hold that class and I will charge you God, all. Son of a 100%. God, wait, wait. But. Hold on. There's, yeah, yeah. Wait, Rex is going to teach hold it. On, hold on, hold on. There's something you don't day. understand. There's something you don't understand. Full day. Teaching the class is not a way to make money. This no, no. is just a way for me to blow off half a week. Yeah, yeah. You're going to teach and it. I got shit to, why? <laughs> no, and, man. And we're not even going to. It's not a certified whiskey class. It's so just you get a, nothing out of it. It's two days. No, 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 no. Two no, days. No. And Rex talks about whiskey. No. And he just gets put on the spot. No. And he has to fill two days. <laughs> I don't Who knows? You know what? Just two days. <laughs> it's going to be a thousand bucks. A thousand. thousand bucks. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. And I get Habsies. No, Even that's illegal. I know, but it's still, a nonprofit. I still will get Habsies. <laughs> All the people who would sign up for that class would never take the Whiskey Psalm School. There's literally a zero overlap. <laughs> $15,000. Of the human beings who would do that. $15,000. To spend two days with Rex while he, on the spot, tries to make up whiskey sh Fifty thousand for two days. One hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, uh, and the day that someone pays a hundred thousand dollars to sit in Rex's <laughs> class like that, there's the same day I will take half of that money right. and grow my hair out sideways. You know what? It just takes one. <laughs> <laughs> one fifty thousand dollar hundred. It went to hundred now. You know what? If we can get, uh, we're never gonna talk about the whiskey. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Two hundred thousand. Two is still going up. Uh, that is the same thing we got in yesterday's, which is that way more scotch than Irish, mm -hmm. but everything is on the candied, sweeter, strawberry kind of fruit direction. See, I got more of that malty. It's very musty. Yeah, that malty must uh, right out of the gate. I think, and the fruit is there. I think specifically the fruit is leaning in more of a stra uh, strawberry direction. Yeah, it's not as dark of a fruit. I think whatever yeah. sherry they were using accented the mustiness of the barley forward notes. Well, put it in your face. I much prefer the um, nose of the I love PX, I love you. Mm-hmm. I love you too. Oh, did you say PX or PS? PX. But, well, oh, I like the taste a lot. That's awkward because I just put it out there. I'm just going to leave that one hanging. I actually like the taste of this better than, yes, than the PX. Yeah, there's something. It's almonds. Is it and almonds? I love almonds. It's all, it's... Almond liqueur bread, that like pound cake, like almond amaretto, amaretto pound cake. It's getting there. Yeah. It's like a, a malty strawberry funky fruit met a bit of amaretto. This is very much a... Um, a, a, a uh, bit, just a bit though, because amaretto is a very specific and intense flavor. Oh, what's the... It's uh, a bit of it. Kolache. This is a strawberry kolache. What are you doing? Bready. What are you doing? And 
strawberries. Whip and whiplash here, and I'm gonna put myself in West Texas. Yeah. Mmm, kalachi. It is nice though. Again, don't like the smell as much. The nose, mm. eh. Palette, it's really not, nice. It's not bad. This is us again nitpicking something. Uh, also, it's a little bit young. Yeah, yeah. Both of these mm? feel grain forward. Yeah, process grain forward. forward. A little bit young. It'll definitely be different as it ages, but mm -hmm. where it's at now. See, I don't mind whenever uh, a company will like We Beastie, for example. Right. You dig it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty dang young. But if you like what that turns into, right. You're still going to like the You're beginnings still, yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. it's going to feel yeah. a little bit more feisty. But uh, yeah, there's enough recognizable stuff that you're going to like the Ardbeg Wee Beastie. Um, yeah. Mm. The finish, though, the finish is squarely, for me, fruit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, almost the jammy fruit. That's the thing yes. that just stays with you the longest. We have Max. Has anyone ever... Has anyone else ever encountered a flavor or smell out in the wild and their first thing, uh, the, the first thing your brain does was even before you're identifying it, you tell... <laughs> they Whiskey, they reverse the smelling okay. process. It is, tell you what whiskey it is. Yeah. Okay. And so they're saying like, instead of walk, smelling a whiskey and thinking, oh, a rainy day, right. they walk into a rainy day and think, oh, Ardbeg. Right. Oh, Old Forester. Oh, Old Forester. It smells yeah. like Old Forester out here. Yeah, yeah. I have had that happen. <laughs> I have been walking somewhere and smelled something and thought, ah, Lafroig. Uh, he said last week and he stepped outside right out of, after a light snow and he took a deep breath and part of my brain went, hey, Ardbeg. <laughs> a good five seconds before the rest went, oh, wood smoke and pine. Yeah, wood. Someone's got a campfire or a house uh, fireplace going. Mm -hmm. and Yeah, absolutely. Burning medical waste. Burning medical waste, <laughs> as one does. To survive. Uh, Rob Ruiz. I'm new to the whiskey scene. Been trying a lot of your recommendations and loving them all. Awesome. Mm. Great. Four Roses Small Batch Select is my favorite so far. Mm. Any chance you guys can do an updated 10 budget-ish whiskeys to get newcomers started on our journeys? So I was looking at the one that we did. Yeah, budget-ish. And I don't, I think I would change it. Like, I, not enough has changed in the whiskey landscape right. to change that list. However, mm -hmm. I think I could, we could easily do a 10 craft whiskeys that will introduce you to craft. Okay. You know what you, I mean? Like if you want to get into the craft whiskey scene, so here's talking, 10 whiskeys that will, that are ex relatively accessible for craft. Are you talking about the Hidden Gem series on Whiskey Tribe? No, no, that's just our favorite ones. Okay. Right. I'm talking about like, okay, let's talk craft. If, instead of big branch, so, let's talk craft. Does accessibility play a role? Yes. In? Okay. 100%. Oh, interesting. And so we could only pick from ones that are reasonably accessible, yeah. even though they're craft. Yeah. And that narrows it down a lot. A lot. Right? Huh. And I think that'd be, I don't know how you source that list, but it'd be an interesting list. Okay. Well, let's just start with, because craft is going to be a spotty uh, mm -hmm. availability. America. Yeah. Well, right. That's America. Uh, and also, the, the people that we ask in the comments. Right. You have a craft distillery that you see on your shelves. It's not super uncommon. That you think is worthwhile, a good introductory craft whiskey for somebody. Right. Put it in the comments below. Not something you get from the distillery. Right. It has to be a retail. You see it on the shelf in a retail yeah. store. Now, and that... Then, and make it hashtag craft. Okay. Hashtag craft, because that'll be easier to search. Sure. Hashtag craft. Uh, a craft whiskey in your area that you see that you think is worthwhile. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to take that... And we're going to look through those. There may be a craft whiskey that's very, very available where you're at, but nobody but else, else in the world. Yeah. We'll get that and we'll see if we can form that into something that seems to have some respectable availability. Yeah, and if we can narrow it down, then that would be a cool introduction to American craft. Yeah. I anyway. dig it. Okay. Uh, again, not what I expect out of Irish. Nope. But if you like the scotch, you want to do something where it's... Uh... Overall, prefer the PX. Okay. As an as overall. Mm. Prefer the palate a little bit to this one, but as an overall experience, I like. I just the can't PX. get over that sherry butt, though. Mm -hmm. Here's the fighting, stealing a drink. If you fight me, I'll fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your. Life. And <laughs> eh, you weren't really done with that. You stumbled on that. You want to try it again? But I was. No. If you drink, may you drink with us. <laughs> <laughs>